さあ I am Juliana. Starship. I am from the Starship. It does not matter where I'm from, really. But I am from a Starship. Are you the same as Juliano? Yes. Yes. Did you have a question? Um, who requested? It is not important who I am, really. What is the question? Yes. Who was for her to come? Are you around the Earth? Yes. Is this the mothership that you're on? Yes. The captain? I am, yes, and but there is others with me. But I, but I do take a leadership ability there, yes. And I do like to um, bring others into leadership training. Mm -hmm. And it is a lovely thing to be uh, with these people. I know that this is a different form for me. A different, it's a different atmosphere for me. You're Arturian? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. And your role on the uh, mothership is the whole mothership, the whole starship. I need. I have many roles, and I do many things. And I feel that my greatest role is to bring stabilization to all different things, mm -hmm. and I bring uh, understanding where there is none, and I bring leadership where there is chaos. So I I take apart the elements and put them back together. Can I speak some of your language, please? Yes. Durado ho ha ti ra ti si ti e ka pa ti ti ri ha 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 Ah, kiki boa chata rata tapa pora totu siti titi dia kati. Kia kalio kota na na kia kota 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 kosa kalio na kati ko kia la kata niu kata. Kaka kora to fur toro. Tita. Kario. Kato le kiki kota to kia ti kia la kota na kia. We are speaking about the fun things of the energy because there is a lightness in our words. The way that we speak has, we speak intention first before we speak what the message is. So therefore we cannot be misunderstood because our intention is spoken first. To say that what she said was, my intention is to greet you, so that I could not misunderstand when she said hello or whatever, mm -hmm. in the tone of voice, whatever she would say, I understood it was a greeting. So what I said to her was, my intention is to tell you that I enjoy how you speak the language, and therefore we had a small conversation, very light, but very friendly, with intention, with intention. What is it that you've learned about me? Um, well, I believe there's a connection. Yes. <laughs> you thought you recognized it? Yes, I did. And I don't think you coming into a human body is very... Normal? Not as, no, it isn't. I you ever have, um, I have. Oh, you have. Okay. I have, but it is not something I do normally. But I wanted to come today because there is an energy here that mm -hmm. is of learning. Mm -hmm. And if I can teach something that is positive to someone, I feel it is worth coming. I put, I take the elements apart and put them back together. 
So therefore, I take your elements apart and put them back together in a way that you can understand them. So if there's questions, I can take those elements and make them understandable. You see, where there is un where there is no information, then I can connect and make them into information. Is there Brian? questions out there? Brian? Yes, yes. Hello, my friend. This is Brian. Hello, Brian. Hello. Um, could you describe a little bit about who you are and how you are connected with Grukfuk Nier or any of the others? I, Grukfuk Nier. Ah, it's a, a, a many-part question. I have to take all the elements together, but <laughs> I could take many time, much time telling you the answer to this, but I will make it as short as possible. I am an Octorian. I oh. am um, on the ship. It has a name. You gave it a name. Well, the people. Of course, that's human. Is yes. It, mothership it is the mothership. Yes, but it is oh. not Grukfiknerian. The Grukfiknerian oh. alliance is within themselves of five species. I myself am an ally, but not an part of the alliance. We have some differing understandings of how ascension should happen. And yes. so therefore, we believe that it should happen exponentially, of course. But I believe that their interaction with the weather can be a little non-beneficial. Let me explain. I think that the weather should be as it is, and I don't think the timeline will not exist. I think that it will continue to exist, but there would be a lot more fatalities. However, that's the way it was meant to be. Right. However, my purpose on the ship is to bring enlightenment, to bring peace and harmony to those that want to have it, to those that are reaching for it. I will help supply it in one way or another. I am also beneficial for the people in my ship. I am sharing leadership, although I am the leader. I share leadership with many. But they report to me in the sense that not to write anything, not to bring me anything, but just to communicate <clears throat> right, right. what it is that we all should know. Actually, I, if I explained what I look like, um, oh, I'm sort of orangey. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not real tall. <laughs> um, there are some portions of our species that have small little horns, but the, not I. I don't have, don't have those. But <laughs> I'm female, so some of the males used to have small little horns in the past, but not anymore. Um, I'm bipedal, pedal, pedal, whatever word you want to use, pedal, 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 blah, 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 not sure, but um, I, I'm not real pretty in your eyes, but I'm pretty to those that think I'm pretty. Well, you have a pretty voice. Hmm. I have a pretty voice? Oh, what about you. your, your facial features? Like I have a big mouth. So, <laughs> in so many ways. But just a little <laughs> bit of Octorian humor there. But I have... I do have a rather large mouth, yes. And um, our eyes are smaller because we do have come from a bright... Um, uh, there's much light on our planet, so the eyes do not need to be as large. They take in a, a much light, and so our eyes are smaller than, say, those of Yu Yil, who have large eyes because they're from a dim planet. Or yours from you have moderate size eyes from a moderately sized sun. So 
the sun has a lot to do with how big your eyes are. So, of course, makes sense, doesn't it? Yes. Um, just, just that's all there is to it. And um, we do not have a nose to speak of. There is one little hole, but it is protected. If we want to smell someone or something, we have to actually get close to it. The olfactory portion of our, um, what do you call it, evolution, because there is no unclean chemicals in the air for such a long time, it was not necessary for us to be able to smell poison or whatever on our planets because the air is so clear and clean. However, that's a bad thing whenever you go off-world because uh, the air is not so clear and clean and you have to use sensors and make it clean, sensors and technology to clean the air in front of you so that you can move. See, actually when we don't have helmets or things, we actually have a system that cleans the air directly in front of you and keeps it constantly clean. So therefore we don't have to have all, any kind of other technology other than the air cleansing that comes with us moving to other worlds or whatever if, if we can actually be in contact with it. So the, we can cleanse the air very easily with our little devices. But that is why we have no nose to speak of. Would the, is it, not that you're gray, but is it the look, look kind of like a gray where you have a well, it's upside a, down triangle? Yes, it's, short, yeah, and yes, that's very, that's very good. You don't really walk, there's kind of a floating feeling. It's, it's bipedal though, yeah. yes, we can float sometimes. Um, it's more of an orangey gray. Yeah, yeah. Orangey. I, I the structure yeah, the structure itself is sort of yeah. unusual. Yes, you would say upside down triangle, maybe. But um, yes, but we do have two. We have legs and feet as well. Mm -hmm. So. But you don't need your body. I mean, I. Um, we don't. We don't. It, it's yes, we need it, but we. I understand what you're saying. Yes, mm -hmm. we do. We can move in other ways. Yeah. Yes, we do need it though for some things. Yes. If you're connected to Giuliano. Are you uh, now speaking uh, with feminine versus the male? Yes. Okay. Can we bring Giuliano? Uh, if he wants to come. Just wondering. Um, he doesn't really want to come, but um, he said you're doing fine as you are, so he said maybe next time. Thank you. But yes, I'm Juliana. Yeah. <laughs> are you part of a federation? We are not. So Is it only Arcturians? Ooh, one at a time. <laughs> is it is it only uh, Arcturians or is it? Uh, well, I would say that the, on ship. my yep, on this ship there it is ninety percent Arcturians. There are some a couple other species that we have with us, uh, uh, pets. There are a few pets uh, from other species. And there are a couple other travelers with us. We're taking them to their homeland. It's we were we're being used as a transport for a couple of other different species, but they are not part of the ship membership. But they are they are friends. It's a large ship, I'm assuming. Yes, it is a very large. Ship. Yes, very. Like a biosphere. Yes. Well, you we can transport back and forth. Yes, yeah, yeah. I can go back to planet. Um, we just call it planet. We can go back to planet and visit family or friends or whatever. Um, yes, yeah, so we often do. We often have our times where we need our our uh, freedom and space as well. I mean, there is work and there is.
density and there is dimension and there is planet and there is family and we are we are part of it all yes in ah oh what what is um about um human years human years uh, uh, close to a hundred that's it that's it oh. yes Ooh. we live a long time but I'm only about a hundred Giuliano is as well only a hundred couldn't be he's a little older yes he's a little older by at least 50 years <laughs> and your time <laughs> that's it? well we'll see I, I have to figure it out maybe I'm incorrect what was the in, question in, here? Yes, in terms of uh, this is Sabrina. Um, Sabrina. In terms of <laughs> in terms of Earth ascension, how how are you helping us? Well, here I am. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I sort of asked the obvious. Um. Um, no, but there is other ways. You are correct. I understand your question. We are working with other different, we work with Kruk Fiknir, and we counsel those people that do this sort of thing, and we counsel those that are interactive with the earth. And so sometimes we give them advice that we feel is pertinent because we feel sometimes they overstep their boundaries. 